My name is <coughs> Bill Bellows. I'm a uh, systems thinking consultant of sort uh, for Rutledge with rocket scientists. Mm -hmm. And uh, I got exposed to Russ for the first time in 1999 at a Dunning conference uh, in Seattle. In fact, both Russ and John Treat spoke. And it was a few years later I saw him speak at an Institute of Management Studies conference in Los Angeles and brought about 30 of us from Boeing and we met with them. And uh, and I, the night before, I had spent uh, a few hours with Dr. Deming's daughter. She's become very good friends on the board of directors of the Deming Institute. And she said, you know, pass on a note to Russ. So I did. And so uh, others were, you know, engaged with Russ in the, in the conference. And I went up and asked him a question during the break. And he said, uh, everyone, uh, um, you know, spend the next few minutes coming up with a question you want to ask me. And so I went up and said, well, I want to ask you a question that's of interest to me, but maybe not to the others. I said, of all the time you spent with Dr. Deming, what do you think you learned from him and what do you think he learned from you? You can imagine his first response. You know, I can't speak for what he would learn from me. He says, well, he says, but I think, he said, uh, he says, Dr. Deming's understanding of systems was very implicit. Mine was very explicit. So I think I'd have to help him develop a better explicit sense. And I said, okay, then what did you learn from him? He said, I, I never really paid attention to quality. I never really took it that seriously. <laughs> and he says, and I am, um, and so he gave me a profounder sense of that. And I said, okay. Well then, um, I brought a colleague with me from work, and, uh, and he really loved it. And he says, well, why don't you invite Russ in to speak? And I said, no, we, we couldn't afford it. And uh, so I knew how much people charge. And he said, well, call him and ask him. So I called him and said, what would it cost you to come out? And I was like, geez, is that all? <laughs> and he knew he could charge more, but he knew if he charged more, people wouldn't you know, bring him out. So I brought him out two days a year for five years. Um, and it's all on videotape, and I'm working with Larry to make sure it gets in the appropriate places. But uh, I go back to 2002, and I saw him speak in LA. The, the one thing that really jumped out of all the questions he was asked all day was, uh, and sure many of you have heard him you know, lecture, and people, somebody gets up and says, Russ, you know, your ideas are good, but you know, I work in a company where things are really dysfunctional. <laughs> and um, don't you have to wait until the, until the timing is right? Right, anybody recognize it? And he says, you have to start where you are. And I said, thank you. Because <laughs> I get so used to people wanting to leave the room with an excuse to do nothing. And he just looked at that person and gave no excuses. And that to me was everything. It was all about action. So I was, I was profoundly influenced by that. Um, so I invited him in the 2003, he spoke and went on to the airport afterwards and said, uh, we come back next year. He says, well, this is about my age. And I said, well, seriously, we should come back next year. He says, well, I says, my doctor gave me, I said, my life expectancy is pretty good. So I said, well, then I want you to come back next year. And he did, he came back for five years. Last time he was with us was in October 2007. And it was a it was a really tough trip. His, his steps were really hurting. But um, and the next day, I, uh, I bring him to LAX. I have him autograph a few books for our president, my boss, and a few others. And uh, and to me, the one he autographed to me was uh, to Bill Bellows for taking me to California. We were taking me west as an old man. And to uh, to our daughter, who we had met when she was 14, I got to know him pretty well. His note was um, to Allison. My secret love, Russ. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, I'll have some more things to share this evening, but uh, thanks.